Welcome. We've had a busy few weeks with the D23 Expo and other similar events, but now we're back. I'm Sean Sposato, and this is Inside the Magic's Ultimate Attraction Showdown, where we take a look at some of the world's greatest attractions and stack up against each other head to head. Before we get started today, let's take a look at what you guys thought of our last episode. On today's episode, it's going to be an epic battle of Disney's accelerated drop tower dark rides. We're looking at Hollywood Studios Tower of Terror against Disney California Adventures Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout. We're comparing a haunted adventure on an elevator against a thrilling mission to rescue the Guardians of the Galaxy from high up in the Collector's Fortress. Why this comparison? Going into this showdown, I'd like to mention that we are aware that the change from Disneyland's Tower of Terror to the new Guardians of the Galaxy attraction is a controversial topic. In this video, we would like to discuss not only how the new Guardians attraction compares to the Hollywood Studios Tower of Terror ride, but also some thoughts on the new finished ride and the quality of its repurposing. Besides the fact that the Tower of Terror at Disney California Adventure was re-renovated into Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout, these are both accelerated drop tower dark rides that feature fast drops and rises in similar ride vehicles. But now, it's time to lay down the rules for this epic battle. As always, in this showdown, we rate these attractions in five different categories. Story, cue, visuals, thrills, and immersiveness. And we score each category up to five points. And in the end, whichever attraction has the most points is the showdown winner. Now let's start this showdown with a ride that transports guests to the fifth dimension. The Twilight Zone Tower of Terror is an accelerated drop tower dark ride located at Disney Hollywood Studios, Tokyo Disney Sea, Walt Disney Studios Park, and formerly located at Disney California Adventure Park. With the exception of the Tokyo Disney Sea version, these attractions are inspired by Rod Serling's anthology television series, The Twilight Zone and take place in the fictional Hollywood Tower Hotel in Hollywood, California. All three versions place riders in a seemingly ordinary hotel elevator and present the riders with a fictional backstory in which people have mysteriously disappeared from the elevator under the influence of some supernatural element many years prior. Classic stars at the silver screen sought rest and relaxation at the Hollywood Tower Hotel during the golden age of Hollywood. In 1939, during a gloomy Halloween night, Five unfortunate hotel patrons were riding in the elevator when a violent storm struck the building and they were never seen again. Whatever became of them and wherever they may have gone has remained a mystery to this day. The hotel closed down that night and has remained abandoned ever since. I give this story a five. This story is extremely present during the ride. When riding, you can't help but get caught up in the fear of being in a haunted hotel that is very reminiscent of the golden age of Hollywood. The attraction feels very abandoned and haunted and when you get on this ride, you feel the fright and eeriness that comes from the undead. The queue. The queue begins outside of the haunted hotel, which takes you inside to see a grand lobby full of cobwebs, vintage furniture, and finishes. Then you are taken into a ghostly library with a nearby television that springs to life with a video of Rod Serling, welcoming you on a journey into the Twilight Zone. After viewing a rather unnerving video, you're brought into a dark boiler room that takes you into the ride. I give this queue a four, the queue is put together very well. All of this queue's visuals are very detailed and in theme with the ride and the haunted hotel. Although a good portion of the queue is outside and Florida is hot. The visuals. This ride contains a massive amount of visuals. This includes projection ghosts, animations of windows shattering, electrical currents flashing, and sets of the interior of a vintage hotel. At one point, you travel through a steel framed hall that is filled with a bunch of different and wild visual elements of electrical currents and spooky imagery. I give this ride's visuals a 5. Disney was ahead of its time when they created this ride. This ride's projection ghosts and other animations are amazingly lifelike. You may find the desire to see an exorcist after getting off this supernatural ride. Thrills. This ride will have you on the edge of your seat in fear. Not only do you travel around this ride's unknown and spooky halls that are full of ghosts and mind warping elements, but then you're dropped from an almost 200 foot tower in complete darkness. I give this ride's thrills a 5. This ride will leave you screaming for your mother. Disney Imagineers really made this tower a real terror. Immersiveness. This ride captivates all of your senses with fascinating visuals, exciting drops, awesome sound effects, and music that really compels you with the story of visiting a haunted hotel from the golden age of Hollywood. I give this ride a five. When you journey through this hotel, you are fully immersed in a ghostly realm that will strike you with both fear and excitement at the same time. Some might say it will scare the life out of you. 
The Tower of Terror may have you walking through an infamous and haunted Hollywood hotel, but the Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout will take you on an adventure to help save the Guardians of the Galaxy. Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout is an accelerated drop tower dark ride attraction at Disney California Adventure. Inspired by Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy film series, the attraction depicts Rocket Raccoon recruiting guests to attempt to free the remaining Guardians of the Galaxy from the Collector's Fortress. This attraction is the first major Disney attraction to be based on Marvel Comics characters within the United States. It is a re-theme of the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror, using the same infrastructure and ride system as the previous attraction. Mission Breakout also features several cast members from the film series reprising their characters. Story. After commandeering a gantry lift, you'll join Rocket, recently escaped from its case, on a harrowing mission to rescue his fellow guardians, but not before unleashing intergalactic mayhem in the process, from the top of the fortress to the bottom, and all to the tune of one of Star-Lord's awesome mixtape songs. I give this story a 4. This is an interesting story. Getting to help the Guardians of the Galaxy escape from peril, who doesn't want to help out their favorite comic book heroes? Although I do think this story could be just a little more complex. The Queue. The queue of this ride is jam-packed with theming. After making your way through the plants and trees from all over the universe, you find yourself inside the Collector's Fortress, which is crammed with a massive amount of interstellar artifacts and creatures. The fortress is set up similar to a museum, with each different artifact and creature held within a glass case or on a shelf on display. Then you are moved into a pre-show room, where you get to see an amazingly lifelike rocket audio animatronic. I give this queue a 3. This queue is really well done as it contains so many elements all of which are definitely on theme with the story of the ride. The cherry on top has to be the rocket animatronic, which is incredibly lifelike. Although, I do think if the exterior part of the queue wasn't so long and had more shade, it would have been better. Wait times for this attraction can be up to 60 minutes plus, and if you're outside for even half of that, that can be very unpleasant. Visuals. This ride contains a great amount of visuals. This includes a shadow projection, ride scenes, and the use of massive screens that display video scenes of the story of the ride. I give this ride's visuals a 3. The ride does have great visuals and ride scenes, although this attraction does rely heavily on external videos that were set up with borders and a few set pieces. The video definitely tells a story and is well done, but it is just a video. The ride does make you feel like you are in the action, but at times it does feel like you're just watching it. Thrills. This attraction is thrilling. You immediately take off and soar upward to experience the first scene of the ride. Then you continue throughout the rest of the ride, shooting up and down the elevator shaft. This combined with sound effects and times of complete darkness does make for a thrilling ride. I give it a 4. You might find yourself not knowing which way is up and which way is down after all the fast movements on this ride. However, I think if the ride moved in more directions than just up and down, maybe into other rooms or different areas, it could have made for a more thrilling experience. Immersiveness. With the combination of this ride's visually jam-packed queue, thrills, and story, this attraction really makes you feel like you're on a mission to help save the Guardians of the Galaxy. I gave it a 4. The interior of the queue has more artifacts than you can count, and the thrills of this ride will bring you to new heights. Although parts of the ride do seem to be kind of like a movie theater, as sections of the ride are heavily dependent upon videos. I think if the ride had more physical elements telling the story instead of video ones, it could have been a more immersive experience. Now that we've dived in deep with our Ultimate Attraction Showdown, Let's see which ride comes out on top. Tower of Terror comes in with a 5 in story, 4 in queue, 5 in visuals, 5 in thrills, and a 5 in immersiveness. Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout comes in with a 4 in story, 3 in queue, 3 in visuals, 4 in thrills, and a 4 in immersiveness. Each ride comes to a total score of 24 and 18. The Tower of Terror is an excellent ride with exciting thrills, entrancing visuals, and a spooky story that all together makes for a really amazing ride. This ride's use of story and visuals really brings the experience of this ride to life. Now, Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout is also a great ride that has great thrills and amazing visuals. Unfortunately, this ride lacks in physical and tangible elements, which makes you feel a little too disconnected from the action of the ride. Also, the ride still suffers from the same problem the Tower of Terror always had, the lack of forward and horizontal movement. Now overall, I think this was a nice attempt by Disney to refresh the old Tower of Terror ride at their Disney California Adventure Park. Well there you have it, that is all for this edition of Inside the Magic's Ultimate Attraction Showdown. See you guys next time!